Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we'll cover platform and quality at I.O., Android 14 Beta 3 with platform stability, subscription catalog management, Android GDEs, fragments, Health Connect, tracing, WebKit, home workouts with health services, photo grids with Jetpack Compose, safe SDKs, and more. Continuing our I.O. coverage, we released a short video and blog detailing the top three things to know from Android platform and quality at Google I.O. 2023, Android 14, including new privacy, security, and system UI related features. How we're enhancing support for premium devices, including ultra HDR images, more premium camera extensions, new production ready models in ML kit, and the public beta of the acceleration service for custom ML models app quality, including a new quality framework, Quality Hub, and Design Hub. We released Android 14 Beta 3, taking Android 14 to platform stability, which means that the developer APIs and all app-facing behaviors are now final for you to review and integrate into your apps, so you can confidently develop and release any compatibility updates. Please start your final compatibility testing now and prepare to publish any updates so you can get valuable feedback during the remainder of the beta releases, particularly if you develop an SDK, library, tool, or game engine. You'll also notice some new features such as customizable lock screen clocks and shortcuts. The monetization subscriptions APIs we introduced last year separate your subscription products, what you sell, from how you sell them, allowing your backend to configure multiple base plans and offers for each subscription which should reduce the complexity and overhead of managing your product configuration. Starting on January 1st, 2024, all new apps must use the new monetization subscriptions APIs for managing your subscriptions catalog. Existing apps will have until May 1st, 2024 to migrate to the new APIs. All apps can continue using the in-app products API to manage one-time products. The play billing library and subscription purchase APIs in the client will not be impacted. We launched the Google Developer Expert Spotlight series highlighting Android GDEs, covering how they became GDEs and what it means to them to be part of the community. In our first short episode, Madonna, a senior Android developer from the USA, shares her journey to becoming a GDE, from her first steps as a developer through to the impact of being a GDE on her career. Over the coming weeks, we'll be sharing more short videos from Android Google developer experts as they share their experiences as a GDE, along with advice and tips. We had a bunch of fun new alphas show up in Android Jetpack. First of all, Fragment 1.7 Alpha 1 provides support for predictive in-app back when using Animator, allowing you to use the back gesture to see the previous fragment with your custom animator. Health Connect 1.1 Alpha 1 added support for the Android 14 framework version of Health Connect, along with a metadata recording method. The first alpha of Tracing 1.3 removes cross inline from Trace so it can be used in a composable. The first alpha of the WebKit 1.8 library added support for passing and receiving array buffers. Finally, Work Manager 2.9 Alpha 1 adds observability via flows, precise scheduling of periodic workers via set next schedule time override, and more. Over on Medium, Garen covered Wear OS home workouts with health services, taking a look at how to incorporate Wear OS support in home workout apps, leveraging the sensors on the Wear OS device, including taking advantage of batching mode added in Health Service Beta 3 to override the default batching behavior to better match the needs of your app. Yolanda explained how to create a photo grid with multi-select behavior using Jetpack Compose, including implementing a basic grid, adding the selection state to the grid elements, and incorporating gesture handling, so elements can be selected or deselected with a drag, and more. As part of the hashtag WeArePlay series, we met Tessa and Sasha, the founders of Olio, an app that enables people to give away any items that could have a second life. It's now used in 62 countries. And Olio also partners with supermarkets and restaurants with the help of Food Waste Heroes, volunteers who collect and redistribute surplus food, saving an estimated 1 million meals per week. Over in videos, on June 15th, Google Pay is doing a live session covering how to collect payments on Android with Google Pay and Stripe. Make sure to catch it to get your questions answered. 
Google Play had videos covering safe SDKs, including five key takeaways for SDK authors, such as keeping up to date with Google Play policies and uh, supporting the latest API security and data minimization features. In the more in-depth video, Artem and Brian cover common policy issues that Android developers using your SDK may experience when publishing on Google Play, and best practices to help your developers be compliant with policies and regulations. Finally, Teresa covered the new required data deletion controls in the data safety section. You must complete the new data deletion questions within your app's data safety form before December 7th. That's it for this week with top three platform and quality at I.O. Android 14 Beta 3 and platform stability, changes to subscription catalog management, Android GDEs, updated fragments, Health Connect, tracing and WebKit, home workouts with health services, photo grids with Jetpack Compose, safe SDKs, and more. Be sure to subscribe, share, and stay safe. And check back soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.